This is a mini lesson on how to draw a square using a protractor and a ruler. Right, for my first step, I'm going to draw with my straight edge ruler here a nice long line. Uh, now, the directions are draw a square with a 5 centimeter side, and uh, here's 5 centimeters right here, and there's zero, so obviously this thing is longer than 5 centimeters, but it's easier for me to use my protractor when I have a nice long. Uh, line to begin with. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out uh, five centimeters of that and use just the segment, but I need the line to be long so my protractor will fit on it. So uh, from now I'm going to draw two marks, one at zero, I get this thing back up to the line, I'm going to draw a mark at zero, and I'm going to draw a line at five centimeters. I move my measure out of the way and at this point it's protractor time so I draw a line measure the side that I need and that's a five centimeter side right here so it's five centimeters and off of that I'm going to draw two 90 degree angles because a square is a rectangle right so all rectangles have 90 degree angles at the corners and so I'm going to move my protractor in place now and get it right on the corner of the mark I made plus that line first line I drew and then up at the 90 degree mark I'm going to draw a little marking line move my protractor out of the way turn my uh, straight edge up so I can draw, connect these two lines together there it goes now I need I've drawn one parallel or perpendicular line 190 degree angle I need to draw another 90 degree angle so anytime you do this you're going to start with the line and then you're going to draw two angles off of that line and the two angles have to be exactly 90 degrees okay and now I have my protractor in place and so see how these this long line helps now that I know where it is uh, I can line it up with my zero um, line here on the protractor all right, measuring to 90 degrees. I have that measurement in place. Don't need the protractor anymore. I'm going to move my straight edge into place. And now I have two places to um, line up. And I will just draw a nice line that's parallel to that. Now on a square, you're going to have all sides being the same length. And so I need to measure up now five centimeters up this side and five centimeters up that side and if I connect the tops I'll have a perfect square so it's back to the measurement now and I'm going to line up a zero on the corner here and then I'll make a mark at five centimeters Oop, I missed it there so erase and try it one more time okay that one's right on the five centimeter line and then next one over here line it up perfectly if you don't line it up perfectly you're not going to have perfectly parallel lines all right now it's lined up and i've connected those two there all right so i've measured five centimeters on this side and on this side and the last thing i need to do is just connect those two and i'll have my square All right, so I have a square. Each one of these is a 90 degree angle, square corners in there. And each side is five centimeters, not C centimeters, five centimeters. Five CM, five centimeters. Uh, and then the last thing I did or do is I drew these lines long, so now I just need to erase them. Helps to have a good eraser. And any unneeded line is out. All right, so there's my square with five centimeter sides.